Have you ever gotten to a picture perfect spot only to realize that once you get there, it's you plus a thousand other people trying to take the same picture? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a trick that's going to solve that problem for you. Today is one of my last days here in New York City. I've been here for a few days photographing a wedding and I decided to go out and film a video and show you a really cool trick on how to delete people from a picture. You can use this trick in any busy area, in any country, in any scenario that you see a lot of people. In fact, I use the same exact technique with the project I have with my kids, where I've taken them anywhere in the world and photographed them in front of iconic areas that are usually very busy with a lot of tourists, but in the pictures, you only see them too. I think one of New York's most iconic spots is the Brooklyn Bridge. However, it's also extremely busy at any time of the day. So if you wanna get a photo there without anyone in your background, good luck. But with this trick that I'm gonna show you today, you could. Let's go do it and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. So we just got up the uh, Brooklyn Bridge subway station. It took me about 30 minutes to get here from our hotel. And we're walking on the uh, Brooklyn Bridge promenade. It's about a 10 minute walk from here to the Brooklyn Bridge. We're gonna get there and I'm sure there's gonna be hundreds of people walking around and people riding their bikes and, and scooters and things like that. You know, sometimes you do want people in your pictures, but other times it's very distracting, especially there at the Brooklyn Bridge, where I'm sure people are gonna be there with their selfie sticks, tripods, um, family, families taking pictures and things like that. The weather's pretty gloomy, so I'm already envisioning, before I even get there, I know I'm going to take multiple exposures, one of which will be for the sky. And, I might even have to drop a stock sky in there, which I'll show you how to do that as well. Once I got to the bridge, I was like, holy crap, how am I gonna pull this off? So I'm even doubting that this technique will work here. One thing is to have a wide area of people moving everywhere, but this was a funnel of people walking towards the camera. There's bicyclists going, at 30 miles an hour, hundreds of people walking in and out of this place right now. So we'll see what we get. I'm already about halfway through the bridge and this entire bridge is filled with hundreds of people. I'm actually questioning that this technique will work today. So it will be the perfect test to see if this works. I saw a, a spot before that may work. We're gonna walk just a little bit further and see if it, I find one with less people. All right, I have found my spot. Not because of lack of people, because it's the same amount of people throughout the entire bridge, but rather because of composition. I'll see some buildings in the background. And uh, there you go, some bikers really demanding their space, which is cool. So this is my spot. And I've chosen this because I see the buildings in Manhattan in the background and all these leading lines here are gonna make for a very interesting picture. So what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to set a tripod right where I'm standing and I'm going to take the first picture and get a solid picture with me in it. In fact, I might need to add a little flash for contrast and then we're gonna stay in the same spot for as long as it takes and take as many pictures as it takes and find for empty spots in each picture that we can compose later in Photoshop to then have one clean picture. Here are a few of the first pictures I took. Obviously, they're not edited, but you can tell what I was going for. So 
So I think I got really lucky. The first picture I took only had a few people in the background. So I think I would only have to stay here a few more minutes and take a few more pictures to delete whoever's in that spot out of the picture. However, I'm not very happy with the composition just because my body covers most of the bridge. So I'm going to get a little higher, which is going to get a little more challenging because I will see a lot of people in the background. For this method to work, you actually need that one area that you want empty in the photo to actually be empty without anyone in front of it. Photoshop cannot invent the content using content aware. So this being a funnel of people walking towards the camera, I was afraid that it wouldn't work, but. So I'm actually done. The second shot took a lot less frames than I thought, and I got what I needed. Now it's only a matter of taking it back to the studio and just merge the frames that I wanted. One thing I forgot to mention is that when you take the first picture that you're happy with, make sure you change your camera to manual focus. You do not want your lens refocusing on a deeper background when you take the pictures without you there. So now we're all done here and there's only one thing left to do is to pack up and have some good New York pizza. Well, that was some really good New York pizza, but now we gotta get to work. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the post-production and how to delete everyone out of the picture. Let's hop on over here to my computer where I have already loaded a few of the images. These are the images I chose. Um, I'm actually only going to choose three images to work with. So now we are in Photoshop and I have already renamed those images that I wanted to uh, work with. And I'm just gonna drag them over to Photoshop. These are the three images that I wanna work with. This is the one where I best like my body language here. And, um, and then this, this one here has a lot of clean spots here to delete everyone else out of the picture. And this one here has the top left corner over my shoulder here clean where anything else my body would be covering it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to have Photoshop auto align these images. Um, so I'm gonna double click on this one to unlock the base layer. And then I'm going to select all the layers and I'm going to come to edit and auto align layers and then just um, hit the auto here choice and the projection and then click OK and let Photoshop do small tweaks as you can see here on the on the right corner and on the left corner as well. So one of the first things I'm going to do is trace my body with the pen tools by hitting the letter P and I'm going to zoom in over here and just really trace my shoulders or really trace my entire body. So this technique takes a little bit of practice, but this is the cleanest way in which you can kind of separate yourself from, from the background. And uh, so I have already traced the left side of my body there, and I don't need to trace the rest really. What I'm going to do is go smaller on the window here and just do a broad selection here. And I'm gonna show you why I do that in a second. So now I have my trace completed and what I have to do is go to the path layer and double click on that path and just give it a name, um, outline. So now I hit the letter A and then right click on that and then make selection with a feather of one. And then now I have made that path into a selection. If I want to save that selection to later easily bring it up again, I go to select, save selection and I just save that one again, outline or whatever you want to call it. And I just hit save and now that selection is already saved. So now I'm going to add a mask to that layer and show the content underneath that layer which doesn't have that guy there standing next to me. So I'm going to hit this icon right here to add a mask and then I'm going to go to select, load that selection that I had earlier, which is the outline. Now I'm going to hit the letter B for brush and make sure that the color is black on the top here. Remember black hides and white reveals. So I'm going to very easily here, just kind of brush that guy out of the way. So I got guy number one deleted. Now I gotta get this second guy out of the picture and I don't need a selection for him because he is not, uh, close to me at all so with a brush tool I can continue to brush him away and there he is he's gone all right so I have already deleted the people to the left and to my right but there's some people here over my shoulder which I'm still going to need to delete so I'm going to quickly do another pen tool trace around my neck and my face and my shoulder there to then very seamlessly and perfectly delete those people from the bottom layer. I'm going to continue tracing myself like this, 
and I'm going to right click, make a selection with a feather of one, hit OK. Then I'm going to brush out those people by hitting the letter D to reset the palette, X to put the black on top. Remember black reveals, I'm sorry, black hides and uh, white reveals. So I have already deleted all the people out of this picture that I wanted to delete, but I do see that trash can there that bothers me and also the microphone on my neck also bothers me, but that's a very quick and easy process. I'm going to Alt Layer Merge Visible and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and I'm going to select the patch tool by hitting the letter J or, or using here the, the mouse to use it via the menu. And I'm going to just very sloppy create a selection around the trash can and I'm going to, once I select it, you drag it over and you line it up properly so that you get the right perspective on the bridge and just let it go and there you have it. Now I'm just going to brush that part up in the top here. So this part in the top here is not cleaned up so I'm going to add another mask to that. Hit the letter D, X to hide and then just quickly brush that top part of the picture out and also here, um, just kind of blend it in a little bit better here. And the floor as well. Oops, a little bit too much there. And that's it, that's all I would do here. Very quickly, I'm going to zoom in here to my neck with the pen tool, quickly select around my shirt here. So now with my vector work path activated, you can just make it into a selection with a feather of one, go back to your layer and up here, uh, zoom in a little more and hit the letter S for brush for stamp tool and then just stamp that, stamp that microphone away and the microphone is gone. So all the distracting elements have been deleted out of this picture. The only thing I would do to this image is add contrast and the sky is definitely ugly and I'm going to drop a different sky in there, but that's going to be on another video. I'm going to show you how to do that. I will show you now the finished product, but check back in next week so you can see how I did that because it's a very unique method that I'm sure not a lot of people know how to do it. So here is the final product. So there you have it. I hope this video helps you in your next trip taking those awesome travel pictures. If you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing and hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified as soon as I upload a new video. It's good to see you here and I'll see you in the next one.